All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomized in Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And since we are approaching the end of the series, and I already announced the new Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Egglock, we got some hype going. Let's get 500 likes, guys. That'd be absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, here we are at uh, the Tapu Village. Okay, first. First things first, I just talked about the egg lock and I'm going back to it. If you guys did not see the send me eggs video for the Pokemon Pearl randomizer egg lock, go ahead and check that out because if you want to get involved with a new project, that is your chance and you don't have very much time, honestly. But either way, Tapu Village, because today we need to go ahead and make our way through the victory road and uh, possibly take on the Elite Four and not the champion. See, that's a little bit of a dilemma for me. I can't decide if this episode we're going to do the Victory Road and the Elite Four or just the Victory Road. So we'll leave it up to time. If we get out of the Victory Road and it's like 20 minutes or something like that, I'm just gonna call the episode and then for the finale, we'll do the Elite Four and the Champion Battle, which is like, that's what people do mostly. I don't know why I do it the other way. Either way, I'm just letting you guys know what's going on for today, but the team, the almost the last team recap of the entire series. It's looking mad crispy. Mad crispy, clean, supreme, extreme, all of that good stuff. We got Periwinkle, of course, pretty much the team carry. Always, this thing's a god. Uh, we have Venus the Victory Belt, who actually now has um, Zing Zap, which I guess is pretty cool. I don't know. We can use that physical attack to our advantage and maybe just, oh, uh, what is it? Maybe flinch people. Here we go. I didn't know if it was flinch or paralysis. Okay. Mystic and the Umbreon, who now has the Ferium Z to pair it with Flurricanon, but y'all already know the drill. This thing's going to be a tank. It's going to set up Toxic, and it's going to be an asshole. That's all it's going to do. Then we have Stovetop, the Mandibuzz, who now has Lunge, which is great because we can use the physical attack, which is literally one point better. But you know, it... It's gonna help out, trust me. But yeah, physical move now over Bug Buzz, which is cool. Then we have Toxic, U-Turn, and Hydro Pump, of course. Then we got Toaster, the Gyarados, ah, look at him. The uh, newest addition to the team is a Fairy and Dark type. Uh, he's got Fire Blast, Steam Eruption, Thunder, and Blizzard. You may say, what? Why do you have so many inaccurate moves? Well, the ability is no Guard. So this thing is just gonna sit up there and use crazy strong moves and hopefully kill something because that special attack stat is honestly not that great, but you know, we're already too deep in it to not go through with it. So uh, last but not least, we have Dentista who actually learned Ice Punch one level after I leveled it up from last episode. Hopefully that makes sense. Either way, Ice Punch, Diamond Storm, Magnet Bomb, Storm Throw. There we go. And that's the squad. It's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. And the only reason Dentista isn't holding an item is because I think we get the Iceum Z in um, the Victory Road. So once we get that, we can just put it on Dentista. And uh, normally I really don't... Wait, did we get an encounter here already? I think we did. I think we got an encounter at Mount Lana... Ke Wait, no, there's no way we did because... I have no freaking idea. I might just catch it and then... Well, if it's bad, it literally doesn't matter because it's not like I'm going to use it. Like, we have two more episodes, or one more episode, whatever. I should be reading this, though. My bad, I got distracted. My full power this time with the Z-powering that old man gave me. I read the last line. <laughs> that is the last one. Made no sense. No context at all. All right, Gladian. Oh. Okay. Mini R? All right, cool. So, after this Gladian fight, I think we're just free to go right through Victory Road. I know there's a couple trainers. I can't remember there being, like, that many, though. Oh, the reason why we're level 58 is just because the uh, Elite Four is going to be higher. And there's no EXP share on. I turned that off because I don't want Armand's getting too overleveled for the Elite Four. I feel like it was honest... Uh, excuse me. I feel like it was honestly... A bad move leveling up to 58 because I don't want to be too broken over level for the victory road. However, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, but I, I didn't know if we were going to do only the victory road or the victory road, uh, victory road and the elite four today. So I wanted to make sure I was leveled up for the uh, elite four in case we did it. I wasn't paying attention. I, I seriously wasn't paying attention at all. Oh my god, I just I just said that this thing carried our team, and I wasn't paying attention whatsoever. I am now in overdrive mode. This will never happen again. Periwinkle, I am so sorry. Oh my god. I can't do this anymore, man. Alright. I'm going for a... Uh... Okay, also... I am so confused on how... This mini or can one shot us. I know free shock. Uh, free shock has a strong move. We are so much higher level than this, or higher level than this thing, and 
it's it's ridiculous to me how opponents Pokemon can destroy us in one hit all the time. But when I scald something and I am six levels above it, seven, six, five level, whatever, it does that much. It does like four. Anyways, let's do our best now. I I can get a steam eruption off before this thing attacks again. Honestly, will free shot kill? Probably. It probably will. I'm not gonna lie. Get burned. I don't think that burns. It definitely doesn't burn. Okay. Well. Oh, it's an ice type. It literally just told us that. Because it didn't take damage from hail. I'm so dumb. See, this is what happens when I get too in-depth in explaining. Because all right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna break it down for you guys, okay? So whenever I like make a small mistake or I don't clarify on something, I I honestly just want to make sure that I correct it just so I feel better with myself. I don't know. So that's what's going on. So when I try to do that, I get distracted and I lose Pokemon. <laughs> All right, enough of that. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're getting through this victory road. At the end of the day, they're just Pokemon. Obviously, Periwinkle is just more than a Pokemon, though. I, I have to admit. I have to admit. He was a soulmate. He was, um, he was a great man. All right, I love the I love the way that he toxic things or is it a female? I can't remember periwinkle. It's a dude. What's up, man? Um, yeah, I love the way he toxic things and then just crit them to death. It was so freaking cool But unfortunately we don't have that anymore. Okay, um, let's just go to toaster. I don't really think it matters as long as it's faster than uh, Mandibuzz 122 Oh my god, Mandibuzz is really that fast. I didn't even realize that I Should have just stayed out one for lunch Okay, well, who's gonna eat up an ice type move? Probably you. You can definitely do it. There we go. All right, so I feel like the hardest part about losing Periwinkle is not coping with it. No, it's not that. That's very close, though. And it's not realizing that I just truly messed up. No, it's not that. It's that we have to find a dang replacement, and our freaking box is just so, like, lackluster right now. It really is. Like, we don't have many great Pokemon that can fill the shoes of our fallen seahorse. It's devastating. It's truly devastating. All right, let's just get out of this battle, man. This thing, had, that was the first Pokemon. I get more impressed by this game every single day. I swear, I really do. This is looking like just a Victory Road episode. It really is. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I don't want to do Victory Road with just four, uh, five Pokemon, excuse me. That's just not a good idea. Anyway, in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. All right, so what type are you going to be? Let's figure this out. Let's go for Fire Blast first. Head Smash. That is not super effective. It's, it's probably going to kill me. Hail's going to kill me, though. Please kill. Oh, unless this kills. Then I can switch out. I'm going to die to Hail now. There has to be something like stupid broken with this game. Honestly, I don't understand how that did so much damage. It's just a golem. Wasn't super effective. Could have been stab. Very well could have been. I could figure that out now if I wanted to, but I don't really care that much. Yeah, it definitely is a rock type. It probably was stab. Rock Wrecker 2. That's killing me. I'm done. The thing is, I have absolutely nothing to switch into. This thing, Ice type, dead. This thing, Fairy type, sure, maybe it can hit up a hit or eat up a hit. Excuse me. I I'm actually going to this thing. I'm going to it. I have to. That is just crazy, man. That this thing can one-shot my Pokemon every single time. I, I honestly can't believe it. The first death, that was absolute crap. I'm not gonna lie. The first death, that was on me. Sure, I'll take the L there. But how does... I'm, I'm just going for Fleur Cannon here because I just need this thing dead. I could go for a Cell Rock, actually. 
and that probably would have been better. Okay, this was my reasoning for why I went for Fleur Cannon, and I, I, I guess I just risked this thing. Um, number one, Loki thought I was faster. Guess that's not true. Which I could have known from the hail. I just realized that, but I wasn't paying attention because I'm just freaking. I am in shock right now. Absolute shock on how I can get consistently one shot. Is it just my luck, man? It's gotta be just my luck. It's a super strap. Oh, hello. It's a fat rat. All right, well, uh, I'm not going to take this thing lightly. Blue flare. Watch this do not even half. <laughs> it, towards the beginning of the LP, it was pretty good. Like, I was able to guess, like, the typings or figure things out pretty fast, but now it seems like every time I go for a move, it's just not very effective. All right. What are we doing? Blue flare. First, I got to heal. This is going to be tough. Because I can't switch out into Mandibuzz, obviously. It's a bug type. Can't switch out into Umbreon. I have to heal Dentista right now. And hope he either misses Blue Flare or doesn't go for it. Because I can't heal my other Pokemon now. Like, if I heal them, Dentista dies. And I don't think that's worth it? I don't think that's worth it. I don't want to lose any more Pokemon than we've already lost. This is awful. Watch him crit me, dude. Watch him crit me one of these times. Or I'm going to run out of Hyper Potions. Something like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. I got to heal. I got to heal Umbreon. Wait. This does... 120. Okay, I need a full restore. I gotta be at full. Because I'm about to swap out into Umbreon. And I don't even know what Umbreon can do from here. Like, I seriously don't. But it, it's my only shot. I Dentista, if the if Dentista literally looks at this thing, he's dead. Shield your eyes! All right, that's looking good. It's looking good. Do I just floor cannon? Do I just? He's got like a move for everything. Like we're fine because we're fairy, but this thing is the most diverse radicate I have ever seen, ever. And it resists everything somehow. I don't know. I don't know what is going on right now. So it resists ice and it resists fairy. Is it steel? It's gotta be steel. All right, so then I can't poison it. That was my next move too. <laughs> that was what I was gonna turn to, but nope, we're not, not gonna poison it. I, I got a night slash, I guess. The hail damage is definitely helping. I'm not gonna lie. I really appreciate whoever put up this hail. I don't even remember who it was, but hey, shout out to you. All right. Um, yeah, Night Slash is definitely the wave here. It's not going to kill. There's no way. This Umbreon is like so weak, right? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Didn't kill the Hail Will. Perfect. All right. What's your last mod, Gladian? Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry for that. I had to go downstairs and help Papa and Mama Soup with something, but either way, we're back. And I'm about to kill this Bidoof. I'm killing this Bidoof for all of my party members that fell. The thing is, after this fight, assuming we win, assuming that I can beat this Bidoof, which I honestly don't even know at this point, what do we do? Because we're definitely going through Victory Road this episode. I'm not just going to end the episode right here and be like, Oh, sorry guys, Gladian fight. That's the entire episode. Oh, well. We're, we're going into total... How do, I, how do I put... Screw it mode. Fuck it mode. We're going into fucking mode. Because I am adding three members to the team now and we're just going to... 
we're just gonna go through victory road we're, we're just gonna add three more team members just to have his death fodder if needed they're not gonna be on the layout because they're not actually on the team uh they may be next episode but excuse me last time i saw lily she was heading up to mahalo trail it seemed like the uh she had something on her mind she's she's gentle enough to be able to feel how much pain pokemon go through i guess that's a kind of strength too here take this she wanted me to give it to you pp max thank you so much dude that would be so great on gyarados because all of his moves had five pp but we aren't enemies anymore either keep winning maybe i'll see you again if you do maybe maybe oh my god so yeah, I'll take the total L for Dragalge. I was not paying attention when Free Shock happened at all. Um, but those other two were so bullcrap, man. Every single episode, pretty much, we're just throwing more Pokemon into the death box. And it's so unfortunate. <sighs> Alright, I just hope Pearl isn't like this. I really hope Pearl isn't like this. I mean, we want to have randomized abilities and moves in that, so it won't be as uh, broken as it is right now. Alright, so... Let's take the held items off. Wait. Oh my god, we have two death boxes. I just- I said like last episode, I really hope we don't get two. Dude, this Dragolage was so good, man. I was talking about was the team carry. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. And this is gonna be the second death box over here. Wow. Great. Two death boxes. Death box I. It's plural. Alright, I gotta name this thing Death 2. There we go. <sighs> Alright. More team members. Who are we putting on? These are literally just death fodder. I'm not- Ooh, you for sure. You're level 60. Alright, um... Ooh, who are the highest level mons that aren't awful? Yeah, definitely not you. Edge? Oh yeah, I leveled up some of these mons. And then I just ended up not using them. Okay, well... Knowing that, we should def- That's not even worth it putting on the team. I would much rather take something like Crawdon that can at least do damage. If needed. This It's just if we need it to do anything. Level 42. 43. Steel and ice. We already have an ice type. So it would really help tanking damage, you know? It's mostly just death fodder, though. Let's put this thing on the team. <laughs> I don't even care. All right. Victory Road, or it's not Victory Road, it's Mount Lanakila. My bad. I know I said Victory Road like 80 times this episode, and people are definitely going to get mad at me. That's fine, though, because it's Mahalo Trail, bitches. Okay, let's go ahead and... Not Mahalo Trail, that's the other place. It's Mount Lanakila. I'm gonna get the, uh, the encounter up there, because I know that area is accessible. Isn't it accessible earlier on, so I feel like it had lower, uh, lower level Pokemon? I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not the uh, Mount Lanakila expert here, okay? That's not me. I never claimed to have to have that title, okay? Oh my god, right away. Did I heal? This is just not my episode. It's been a long day. Let me explain. I went to school. Obviously school. Draining. Pretty long portion of the day, too. Then you homies got baseball, okay? Baseball season start now, okay? And if you play baseball, shout out to you. You're probably also starting practice around now. And uh, that means more of my time is just going to do other things rather than YouTube. And it makes it really, really hard to find times to record. So when I find time, it's usually like now, which is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil it, break the fourth wall. It is literally 10 p.m. on a Wednesday night. This is the only time I have now, pretty much. And it's, it's weird, but when I come home, I'm so freaking tired, and that's why I probably act and all strange. And that's the reason why I probably pretty much just killed my own Dragolge. But anyways, we will walk into Alana Kilo. I just really hope that this is like a pleasant battle right now. I'm really not looking to get bodied. First trainer. I'm not looking for that. If I had a to-do list, I don't currently have one, but if I did, it would not be on there. All right. Pretty much at this point, the objective is just to get through. Oh, we have to catch the Krasma. <laughs> oh my god, it's just more battles. More chances where we could lose Pokemon. Granted, I could just Master Ball that thing if I wanted to and get the battle over with. Alright, can we find a Pokemon right here? Yes, we can. So if I already got an encounter, I don't think I did. But if I did, sorry. 
I'm gonna catch this anyways, and if it's illegal, we'll release it. We got a Heliosk, and that is really, really good, actually. I will take that any day of the week. And I might even uh, slap it on the team, because it's level 40, uh, level 47. All right, nighttime in a cave. Let's see if it works. One. Come on. Really, man? Really? All right, do I try to weaken this thing? Let's try it. Let's try a, uh, a cell rock. That shouldn't kill. That's what I mean. Look at the level difference here. I know it's an Umbreon and it's not the strongest Pokemon in the world. It's also not Stab. But it just doesn't even, like, make sense to me. How my move could do that little to a Pokemon who's less or even more than 10 levels uh, under me. It's crazy. But whatever, man. All right, uh, right, let's do one more Dust Ball. This should catch. I mean, he's in the yellow now. It matches his color, so I hope that uh, it's a sign. One. Come on, make it happen. Make it happen. But yeah, after baseball two, um, I, I I go straight to like my band rehearsals, and it is it is so hectic, and it is it's not a fun time. It's not a fun time. Well, the actual stuff is a fun time, but actual stuff is actually really really fun. I enjoy baseball. I enjoy playing music. Like, I love it. Obviously, school I don't love, but I you know I have to do it. So who cares? I'll name it mustard. Um. Yeah, it's, it's, I just get tired, I get stressed, and then I don't get to record. And that's like a good way for me to, you know, let my stress go and just like talk about random stuff in, <laughs> on a mic for like 30 minutes or whatever. Um, oh, what is this moveset? You can stay. It looks like a normal Helix moveset, but it's not. I don't think this Pokemon gets wide guard. Please. Dang it! I just want to avoid trainers because our team isn't that great right now. Oh well. If we get bodied by one of these trainers and it's an unavoidable trainer, it just wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. Alright. I feel like I should be leading off with a different Mon just because this one we've already seen he doesn't do any damage. Ooh, wait. That's super effective. I might just go with that. I might just have to go ahead and... Hit this dude up with a nice slash. All right, let's see how much this does. It did just like a little under half of what I did. Hmm. Oh yeah, you gotta recharge, bro. You're playing too reckless, you gotta recharge, bro. I really, really hope that Primeape has good moves because I honestly never checked it. Also, yeah, I do have hat hair, so I apologize. <laughs> I should have just worn a hat. I don't know why I didn't. Executor. Okay. Um. Don't be scary. Are you a Lolan? Oh, I was gonna say don't be a Lolan, but it is a Lolan. I know it was always gonna be a Lolan though. All right. Um. Let's try a Flutter Cannon. Stay a Dragon type, please. On the off chance. Nope. Very well. All right, so are you a steel type? I'm not gonna risk anything. We're getting out of here. Um, Meteor Mash. Will be a good play. Oh, all you have is Blizzard. Okay, um. Dentista doesn't like the Meteor Mash. You don't like the Meteor Mash. And if it's a steel type, we can't Toxic it. I'm gonna try. I don't even know if it's a steel type. Obviously, Flurry Cannon, it was, hmm. I'll try this one more time. Because we did have some damage on us before. I think we can live, oh, you didn't even, go oh, that's even worse, I think. Wait. I wholeheartedly believe that we could have lived a Meteor Mash there. Because we, we had damage from the Hydro Cannon before and that was just under half. He had a gunk shot. That's unfortunate. Okay, um. What do I even do here? What type are you? Ice. Okay, well. 
I guess our best option is stovetop. I'm gonna try the toxic on the off chance. I feel like I have to try it. It's, yeah. KK impact. Okay, we, we actually ate that up. I will accept that. Let's try a hydro pump. Just because I don't think lunge will do that much. That was not bad at all, actually. I just want to keep spamming it. I just want to get lucky and hit it every single time now. Gunk shot. Okay. I figured that wasn't going to do that much, and it didn't do that much, so. Perfect. Let me go for lunge here, because I just want to kill it. I don't want to risk the Hydro Pump missing at all. Perfect. There was kind of a little part of me that thought that that wasn't going to kill right there. I was wrong. So yeah, Mystic is gone. That's awesome. I think my problem is that I always expect like them to use the exact same moves over and over. Like, especially if they're super effective. I feel like that just makes sense. But the gunk shot, which did more, is what threw me off. Definitely threw me off. This is gonna be a really long episode, I can already tell. It's just a struggle fest. <laughs> All right, Hyper Potion. All right. Oh, Super Repel. That's what I need. What else can we have found here, though? Why couldn't I have, why, why? I would have loved that. That would have been absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, they have Drizzle. I remember that. I think we fought one of these and he had Drizzle. Oh, that's crazy, man. Oh well. Can I get away? See, he wants me too. With the crab hammer? Oh my god, that's god tier. Is this thing, oh, if it was a water type, it'd be freaking broken. Alright, I'm healing now. That is absolutely insane. <sighs> he is just crab hammering away at me. There is, n there is no boundaries with this crab hammer. Double hit. Okay. Please let me escape. It's level 49! Oh, now I can't escape at all. Right? Because he bound me. Or binded me. I should have just killed it. Oh my god. Don't do this. Please do enough. Thank you. That's totally enough, because now I can just kill this turn. Gosh, Bite is so scary, though. It really, really is. <sighs> Alright. Sorry, bro. Had to take you out that way. You would have let me go. I could have just let you run free in the wild, but no, I had to murder you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and Super Pell and Hyper Potion up. We definitely need to do that. Please tell me I still have them. Yes, I do. H should be enough. Should be enough. I probably have some regular repels and like max repels mixed in there. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe not max repels. Because I usually don't buy max repels. There's just so much more cost efficient to buy a bunch of super repels rather than like a bunch of max repels. Like you save a lot more money and it's really like the same amount of steps. Like it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's see. Machamp. Yes. And as soon as, like, you were, like, if you run it, <sighs> I have a point that I'm trying to make. It's really hard to word. So here we go. I'm going to try it right now. No, I'm not. I'm not even going to try. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Pokemon Trainer Ovid? Pancham. All right, see, these are the Pokemon I don't mind seeing when we have to fight. Totally cool fighting a Pancham. Totally cool with it. Not saying this Pancham can't destroy me. I'm just saying that I'd rather fight a Pancham than, like, a Reshram like that. I feel like that makes sense. Oh, thank you for being super effective. Wow. I never thought I'd hear that noise again. Like, the, the that sound effect when something's... Oh, my God. That was music to my... 
I thought I turned off the EXP share. Did I not save? I don't know if I saved after I did. So I went to uh, sit down and record this yesterday, and I couldn't. Like, I opened everything. Like, I got everything, like, leveled up. My red candies. And, uh... What's it called? I don't even know what I'm looking for. We're going. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I feel like Rock Tunnel is the only worst, like... That's like the worst mental state I can ever be in. It's even... <laughs> it's even worse than this right now. I am at a total different level. Like... I don't know, man. Once it's like... Sp like spring break and everything like starts really calming down. Like, I'll be... I'm gonna be so freaking happy, man. Ah, oh, that's gonna be awesome. I'll be out of town for spring break. I'll be at PAX East, too. So if you're going to PAX East, by all means, let me know. I'd love to meet up with, like, you know, some of you guys. Or just, like, say hi. Something like that. Um, because I think that's, like, the best part about PAX, but, uh, yeah, I'll be out of town, so I won't be able to make videos and stuff, which is fine, I mean, I can bulk record beforehand, it doesn't really bother me that much, but just being, like, stress-free, and just, no baseball, and, like, no, nothing to worry about, Ugh, can't wait, and obviously, no baseball is in a bad way, sorry, coach, if you're watching this, I actually do really like baseball, it's just stressful sometimes. My coach does not watch my videos. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. Oh my god. And thank god I skipped all those guys. If I had to fight four trainers there, I I, I don't even know what I would do. Alright. I just wanted to make sure everyone was good before we go over here and look at the big boy. Woo! The Krasma has fallen to the ground. We can train to power. We share the light of your Z power ring with the Krasma. Yes, I will. Lino! What's this thing gonna be? That's the real question. Where'd it go? Scorpio appeared? No, he didn't. Disappeared. All right, well, I'm gonna, I, I'll take this. And it's our last encounter. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeet, I am chucking this master ball. Deal with it. Deal with it. Our last encounter ever before we take on this, like, we don't need this master ball anymore. Give me that back. Spurpy was caught. I will take that any day. I just caught you in a master ball, bro. How do you feel? You better feel amazing. He's too good at 59. Perfect. All right. So we'll probably end up putting that thing on the team. I mean, we can evolve it this episode. I'll definitely do that. All right. Let's just uh, focus on getting through here. You know, I could have put it on the team and I probably should have. That way, if it was good, we could have used it. I always hate how that word works. Or that looks, excuse me. Works too. Ultra into Krasmium Z. Like, it just looks so stupid. Here's Colorus with his beeping arm. Good, and this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control the Krasma, but I improved it to my own liking. And now it is a device that makes it possible to draw even more power from Necrozma. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Soul Galio. This is the Colrus Machine number 1198. Officially dubbed the End Solarizer. I probably should have just said 1198, but I'm extra today. We're talking as a Colrus. I feel like Colrus would say the entire number. All right, cool. In addition, this is the coolest. I don't even need these. Why am I reading this? I don't have either of those Pokemon. I have a Scorupy, and I can't remember what the other Pokemon was. All right. I appreciate all of, all of these wise words from you, Colrus, but I, 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 that beeping arm, and I, I just can't deal. I cannot focus on anything that that dude has to say because of his arm. It's just... <laughs> all right, um... Take on you. Is that a double battle? Oh no. That just means more Pokemon. <laughs> more Pokemon that we have to fight. Hit the foundation Jada. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not scared. Because this is a Pokemon that can easily body us. Easily. So easily. Psychic. Okay, you know what? I will settle for that damage. That is all I ask. 
I don't want, you don't have to do half every time. Like, that is perfectly reasonable. Three shot, perfect. But when the, when my Mawile, specifically, does like four damage to something, it just, it makes me so aggravated. I know that it doesn't have huge power and it doesn't only go for Mawile, it goes for everything. Just, they just do no damage all the time. It's so consistent, it doesn't make any sense. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My heart stopped for a second. I was like, oh no. And then he's got, damn. Whoa, I've never seen that before, ever. Cause I don't think any Pokemon that, you know, uh, what's it called? Get damp, learn like explosion or self-destruct. Do they? I, I have no idea. Does like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Swampert, does he get self-destruct explosion? I have no idea. That is so funny. Oh my God. I wish that would happen more often. Cause explosion and like self-destruct are so scary in Nuzlocks. They really, really are. All right. Sharp oh, it's a mecha one. Mega Sharpedo is so cool, man. I really wish that it was a better Pokemon. Oh, is that the Turtonator move? Shell Trap. A clean one shot. Clean. Oh my god, I just realized something. Oh no. Okay. We have to kill this thing like ASAP. How am I gonna do that? I have absolutely no idea. I need a toxic it. I need a toxic it. Because the rest of our Pokemon are weak to fire. That's what I noticed. And, well not, there's there's one that's not, but he's not gonna be able to do anything probably. I think it's the Oricoria. Um, this is effective, but toxic. Psycho boost? I That's pretty good actually, because Shell Trap's a special move. He avoided the attack. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm just going for Hydro Pump now. This thing has every move, ever! What is going on? Thank you. So much coverage on one Mon. That thing is broken. I need, I need me a Mega Sharpedo. <laughs> I really need a Mega Sharpedo. <laughs> All right, um, let's take on those trainers. Wait, I need the right team out. We have two Mon, or only one Mon, left from the original six at the beginning of this video. All in the Gladian fight in Victory Road. Only one death, I would, I... It honestly pains me to say that, because I, I don't wanna, whatever. I'm just gonna say it anyways. I feel like only one of those deaths I'm in the wrong for. Like, Everything else is just me not knowing what they have and me just getting blown back, right? Like, am I crazy? I just want to make sure I'm not screwing up so much, like... Whatever. Let's just get this battle done with. Let's get it over with. He's got a Diancy, of course he does. Alright, I'm double teaming that. Blizzard and... Toxic or Lunge? Lunge, sure. I was gonna say, if Diancy avoided that, I would be heartbroken. It's like all I did for nothing, or everything I worked for, for nothing. All right, that's super effective. I love seeing that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Puchiana? Yeah? Core Enforcer? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That hits both? Oh, that did nothing, but still. Ability was suppressed, okay. Duly noted. I'm killing this thing. Poochiana! I'm not even going for it for the Diancie anymore. I'm doing it for the Poochiana. 
so I could get damage on it at least. All right, cool. Fancy didn't have anything, you know, to really arm us, or at least that we saw that turn, so thank God. Jeez. There's the Moon Guys beam. That animation is awesome. It really, really is. It honestly looks really cool that Apuchian is doing it too. What is with all these Mega Pokemon? Draw it? Oh no, man. Please don't be a fire type. Wait, hold on. I got an idea, I got an idea. I gotta heal Mandibuzz with my Primeape. Wait, wait, wait. I accidentally clicked B, dang it. There we go, and then... I'll go for Toxic, actually, on the Scizor. Wait, what's the terrain right now? Is that... I don't think it's the one that... I think it's Misty. Oh, it's a steel type. A freaking course it is. That's the double whammy right there. The, oh, I'm a steel type to the, you're dead. <laughs> it's a true combo. Okay, let's just go to Zen. Dude, I, I have no idea what to do. The toxic didn't work. I'm genuinely trying. Like, I'm gonna lower his attack. I'm gonna try that. His defense is lowered, so I'll go for a lunge. The steel type, though. Don't kill. Thank you. I just need one feather dance to give myself a shot. Don't kill the. Don't kill the old corpse. I just needed one, man. I just wanted to dance with my feathers. This isn't looking good. This really isn't looking good. I just, I don't know what else to do anymore, man. What's pollen puff? 90? That restores its HP? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So I can restore? HP? Ooh. That's kind of broken. I'm gonna go for the Pollen Puff on you. You know, I'm just gonna kill the Poochiana. I don't want that thing hammer arming and Moon Guys beaming. I'm gonna try to kill it. I don't even know if this will kill. Live. There we go. Scissors is just a. Uh, this, yeah, the defenses are so low. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't have any more Hydro Pumps, dude. It... They just double team it. That's all they do. It really sucks. If I leveled that dude up, or if he was faster, we could have gotten a kill off. Last Pokemon. Honestly, at this point, I should just throw a Pokeball. Like, it literally doesn't matter. I think this is a, this is a L. I don't want to call it too early, because it's very much possible. All right, let's look for some PP ups. So if I got Hydro Pump, go to PP Restore. Perfect. What are you doing? Linoon? So I got these early game Pokemon. Is that what we got? Go Power Unlocked. Wow. All right, so that's not gonna do that much. I can't, no, 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 no. We are Bug type, we are eating that up. I am Hydro Pumping the absolute hell out of this thing. Psycho Boost. <laughs> what is it with all these mods and Psycho Boost? Like, Sharpedo? Come on, man. Please. Please. He's so low in defense. Can you storm? That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna heal this turn. Whoa! No fucking way. I hate it when that Please live, please live. Don't make me regret that. Don't don't make that. A misclick, man. <gasps> I will take fault for the misclick. Honestly, I thought Mandibuzz was at the top. 
it's the front of the party. I just assumed, so I was just tapping my screen. I was also looking here, and I couldn't even see my screen, really, just because I was confident on where I was tapping, and I screwed up, and I healed the, <laughs> the crawd on. <laughs> so that freaking sucks. But then I could have lived, but I got poisoned! Oh my god, man. All right, well, for those of you that don't know what this means, it means that we have officially lost the Nuzlocke. Um, it's unfortunate, it sucks, and I don't like the fact that it, we lost, especially since we were so close to finishing the game too. It sucks, it sucks for me, and it probably sucks for you guys if you enjoyed the series. Um, how I play locks, and how most people do play locks is that if you white out, you're officially done. You cannot continue. So, I guess we're done. That's really crazy, man. As I'm uh, getting everyone into the death box, uh, I do want to thank you guys for the support on this series. It was absolutely amazing. And um, I hope you guys still enjoyed it, even though it didn't end with a win. Um, I hope you guys still enjoyed the series all the way throughout. And if you did, sincerely, I will thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's my thank you for you. A bow. <laughs> All right. Um, we had a pretty, pretty solid amount of deaths. Not solid as in good. It's this is a solid amount of deaths. You cannot, you cannot lie. We got thirty, and then um, plus six, thirty-six, thirty-seven deaths. Wait, because there's thirty in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five. Yeah, exactly. Thirty in a row. We're thirty in a box. Excuse me. Thirty in a box and yeah, thirty-seven. All right. Well. Not my best numbers for a playthrough. I think that is probably the most deaths I've had in a playthrough ever outside of the Ruby and Sapphire thing I did with uh, Joey a long time ago. However, that series, we we were just kind of just having fun. So we weren't really paying attention to the nuts lock that much. Um, yeah, I think it's a lot of deaths. Um, but yeah, I, I, there's not much to say. If you made fan art for the series, thank you so much. I also want to thank the people that did. Seriously, I do really, really appreciate it. And uh, when Pearl comes out this weekend, I hope you guys will also make fan art if you do desire to. And don't forget to email it to me or tweet it at me, Instagram it to me, however you want to. Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful for fan art. I think it's so freaking cool. But I'm gonna wrap up this episode there. Um, yeah, that really sucks. That really, really does suck that I had to end the way that it did. Sucks that I had to make so many mistakes, but I'm only human. What can you expect of me? Just because I sit up here and uh, record videos doesn't mean I'm good at Pokemon. Never claimed to be, you know? It's all for fun at the end of the day, and I do say, I, I think this series was fun. I think it was fun. The custom textures, shout out to Mizumi. He was a great help all the way uh, throughout the playthrough. Like, if I ever had a problem with anything, he was always there. So, shout out to Mizumi. And, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it with that. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys on Saturday when we kick off our Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Egglock. See you guys then. Bye.